I didn't think I would have to do this before uh, the work week started again uh, in the new year, but um, here I am making a video already about racism in sports. And um, this comment comes from a former NFL player. So here I am before I even had an opportunity to do my sun salutations before I even had a chance to get up and get some coffee, I gotta give out the first Coon of the New Year Award. And that goes to former uh, Washington Redskins uh, defensive end, Dexter Manley. This mofo just said that the mobility and the speed, I guess, of most NFL black quarterbacks comes from the fact that they are used to running from the law. And that's fucked up. That's some fucked up shit to say. But you know what? I'm starting to realize that when it comes to uh, identifying and solving problems in the black community and with the youth, we're not going to get that help that we think we need from the older black generation. And I only say that because um, I had a situation where I spoke out against um, a white feminist group. Uh, women in sports and events in Los Angeles and when I wanted them to address the needs of black women um, in the business of sports you know how can we speak against discrimination um, when it comes to gender when we don't speak out against discrimination in all its forms and to me that includes race and so um, I resigned from the board and I had the president um, take me out to dinner and she invited someone from the NFL because the NFL is a sponsor and um, it was a black lady and I won't tell you her name but um, she was telling me a lot of things like you know this is nothing that's going to be solved overnight and we may never see racism eradicated in the business of sports and I'm like that's bullshit because Barack Obama is the president of the United States so you can't tell my generation um, that racism won't you know, or we'll always have racism in the business of sports. I'm not buying that BS. But uh, anyways, I am starting to realize that um, racism on the upper level with the older generation, it's not just a white thing anymore. You have to realize that our older generation, they kind of see us as those badass kids. They won't pull up their pants or look how they dress, look how they dance. And sometimes they don't even realize that the younger generation inherently is channeling Africa. When we dance, the way we dress, everything, we're channeling our ancestors. And not, some of us really don't even know or care to know, but that's a whole nother conversation. But just going back, um, to let you all know that I will be speaking out more against the racism in the business of sports because at the end of the day it affects me, it affects my bottom line and um, my agency is one of the only, I think the only black owned sports agency that represents Olympians. We're a minority based company and this is another thing about the word minority. Are we really minority? Are black and brown people really mi minority in the world when we talk about the global population? Um, Michelle Obama said, let's be global citizens. So I'm thinking globally now. So yeah, anyway, let's go back to the black quarterback. I think a lot of black athletes realize their speed very young in their life, um, whether it was running around in the neighborhood and making usefulness out of the resources they had in their hood, whether that was the community center or like me, I realized my track speed and that I wanted to even try track because I was running around with the kids in my neighborhood on the streets, playing in the streets. And so, you know, when we think about the speed and the agility of most black athletes, the, the power, the strength, it's our bodies. Our bodies are built a little bit differently. We're all the same, but black skin is different. Our black bodies are different. So we're more athletic. Look at, you know, the endurance of the Kenyan runners. Look at the, the the bronze of shit, LeBron James. I mean, just you look at the body. Look at the Summer Olympics. I challenge you all to really watch the Summer Olympics. Look at Simone Biles, Gabby Douglas, and gymnastics. Look at my girl Nastasia Generalova, who's black and Russian, and she's doing her thing in rhythm and gymnastics. And so I challenge you to all look at the black swimmer Simone Manuel. We are taking over elite sports. So that's running from the law. Nah, not bruh bruh. That is just black athletes being black athletes. And so 
while you know blacks are making strides on the field behind the scenes in the front office we are so far behind and it's so funny spike lee says the sports industry is beating um hollywood in terms of diversity that's just not true bro and i really will start to shed more light on that I will hopefully answer any questions that you all may have about what it's really like to work behind the scenes in sports, and it's not pretty. But at the end of the day, I'm happy about what I do because I make a difference, and um, our athletes are not just black, they're white, they're Cuban, they're Russian, they're from other countries. Um, it's beautiful, the landscape of athletes we have. There comes from, from so many backgrounds and sexual orientations. and all parts of the world it's, it's a beautiful thing and so uh, just from the way i approach sports is a little bit different um i approach it as a female and even black females have bad reputations in sports like athletes sometimes don't take us seriously because they think that we're groupies but you know the beckys in the industry can get up to the hotel room no problem i can barely get into <laughs> the ballet area so we i go through a different level of screening because i'm black i can have the credentials i can have all the credentials on me and i still have issues i still get the weird stares um being a black woman in the business of sports so um dexter manley you get the first coon of the year award um i think most people will agree and it just so happens that it was an athlete <laughs> so that's what I'm speaking up against it. But uh, please, everyone, share your thoughts. I would love to hear what you think about this coon.